We can make this roulette wheel look like it's spinning using the spin blur filter. Filter, blur gallery and spin blur. We can drag this to where we want it and change the size of it by dragging these outer handles. And you'll notice we can make it elliptical and not just circular. Move it where you want it and click outside to drag to rotate it. These inner white handles set the amount of feathering at the edge. We can pull that all the way out so the whole thing is blurred. Change the amount of the blur by dragging on this circular head up control in the middle or use the slider for more precise control. If you hold Option or Alt, you can click on the blur center and move it to wherever you want it. Once you've got the setting you want, just click OK. The problem here is that we've blurred the handle and that shouldn't be blurred. So let's open the history panel and click just before we applied that blur effect and switch to the history brush and we can paint back in the state of the file before we applied that filter. I've painted out rather too much of the blur effect, we can get it back. Go back to the history panel, pin the history just after we applied the blur, and now we can paint it back selectively. And there's our image with the blur applied to it.